2019 Corolla side view mirror replacement. We're gonna have to remove the door. Here's how to remove the door panel. You wanna pop this little cover off and get this screw out. And then we're gonna pop this uh, handle, like the cover off, maybe real gentle with it. And then underneath this is two larger screws that um, kind of hold the door on mostly. So to get that off, you want to get a plastic pry bar or something really skinny and gentle, maybe like a small flathead um, if you can, and just you want to just gently get that cover piece off. And then we can get this off right now, and then you can pull it out. I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, this part can come off. Just get your plastic pry bar, pop this cover off. Just go slow. It could be a little stubborn sometimes. And um, once you get that off, we can get the master switch out. The master switch, you just got to kind of pop it off this little clip secure guy right here. Just pop this off. Um, it works best if you compress those two tabs that are in the middle like that. You just compress these and then you can lift this up. Uh, just be careful. Don't lose your patience. <clears throat> A lot of patience with this job. So once you lift this up, we're going to pull this master switch backwards. Just straight backwards. And the reason why is because there's a, a little tab up in the front and that is needed to uh, hold that down in the front so you don't want to break that off and then what i like to do is i'll, I'll just disconnect this right now just uh, disconnect this there's a little button on the side and what you got to do is push that down and while you're pushing that down at the same time pull this uh sleeve back and then it'll come undone it could be kind of annoying but uh, that's how you got to do it so you like you'll push this button down right here and then while that's down somehow you need to pull the pull the whole thing backwards without releasing the button and then the, it'll come off it looks like uh i'll show you it looks like that see there's just like this little sleeve it's it's, it's like bright white so my camera has a hard time getting it but it, it goes back and forth and that's how it locks into place and then we're going to set this to the side you could wait till the door panel comes off to disconnect that but it's much easier in my opinion just to do it beforehand so then we'll get the screw out right here. Get uh, this guy out, the bigger one right here. And then this one you need kind of an extension. I use just two bit heads or, you know, bit extensions to reach in there. And then I had to use a magnet to kind of get it out. Um, you don't necessarily need a magnet, but, you know, that's just what I did to help pull it out. And then you want to reach underneath and kind of wiggle and pull out until these white connectors or white clips come loose. This lock and handle is going to stay, so you don't want to rip the door off because you'll break these. We'll have to disconnect that when the door is off. So we're going to reach under here, just kind of work your way around, wiggle and pull, wiggle and pull. And the clips that hold it onto the, the metal door will kind of release. You'll hear them pop. They go pop, 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 pop. So we'll go ahead and get these all off. And then you're going to lift this straight up to get it off the lip of the metal door. Go straight up. I'll show you what I mean. Make sure, oh, make sure this cover's off right here. I forgot to mention that. Sorry, guys. All right, go straight up, and you can pull it outwards a little bit. Now, it's going to be connected to the cable still, so you got to be gentle. We're going to reach back here and undo these. This is just for your lock and your door handle. Um, if you get them mixed up or you don't remember where they go, it's fine because I'll show you. So, you, this just pulls out, and then the ball just comes out just like that. They're a lot less complicated than they look. You just pop this out, and then you just lift this ball up like that. Now, when you go to hook them up, you're, um, oh, I'll show you in a sec. Let's put this door panel somewhere safe out of the way. I put it in the back seat because I've seen people walk up and step on these and ruin them, and then that's like a thousand bucks later for a new panel. Make sure your clips are all there. Sometimes they, the white clips will stay stuck in, in the metal part. See, like right here. So um, uh, what I do now, I just get them out right now and then I put them back on the door panel because when I get to the part where I'm putting it back on, I'm just ready to go. So these cables and this should be disconnected. And then um, this cable goes to your mirror right here. If you're replacing the side view mirror, you need to re uh, remove this, this uh, connector. Just take it like a flathead, push this right here okay like that if you're not messing with the mirror then don't worry about this but if you're replacing the mirror you got to take this off and uh, take note of the connector how many wires because when you go to on amazon or wherever they're gonna they might ask you how many wires are in the connector what color is the connector blah 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 all right and you could just pull this harness out of here 
these three uh, <clears throat> 10 millimeter bolts need to come off. Okay, right there. Right there. And right there. So save these, don't lose them. Set them to the side. Now the mirror will stay in place because it has this tab holding it on, so you don't need to worry about it falling off. But once you push that tab down with your finger, that thing's gonna go backwards. So make sure you're there to catch it. Just release the tab and then just pull it off here and then just pull the harness through. Oh yeah, this seal needs to come off too, my bad. Um, the seal comes off, it's just held on by like little plastic rivet pins. You, you'll see, just, just take it off, take them off and then you'll be fine. Okay, so pull that out. All right, we'll set this over here. Now the new one, um, oh, here's the part number on the old one. This is the Toyota part number. The new one I got is a Toyota one and it comes with a connector and everything. Uh, when you buy aftermarket, make sure it says with connector. This connector is for like the mirror adjustment or like some have heated mirrors, you know. I've just seen on websites, they, they get really specific about the connector. Here's the part number for the Toyota OEM one. I'll put links in the description to get these. Um, same exact thing. It doesn't come with the backing plate, but you just take it off the old one because the backing plate's painted. You can get the backing plate by itself, but it won't be painted. You'll have to go take it somewhere. So if you could switch the one from the old one, that would be, be ideal. But if if you don't, if it got messed up or something, just get yourself a new one, but you might have to get it painted. And sometimes they come painted, depends. But this just, uh, you just get something on here to pull it off. Use the plastic pry bar, just kind of work your way around and loosen it, it'll pop off. They aren't really held on by that much. Here's the part number for this. There you go. And this is like a gold color. Here's my part number for the new mirror assembly. And uh, we'll go ahead and just clip this in place. You just kind of line it up, gently squeeze it and push it, and it'll just clip into place. Just make sure you don't just rush it and then try to force it to clip on because then it'll break the locking tabs and then it won't go on at all. But that's how it looks. Now, when we go to put this on, if you these little pins for the seal are not correct, then um, take them off because you're going to need them to reconnect this seal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this off here. And then um, I'm not gonna put them on my new mirror yet. I'm just gonna wait until I put the seal on and then I'll use these to, to put the connect the seal to that. Here's the seal. So, sorry guys, my, my footage is a little tweaked right here. It's gonna be tweaked for about a minute and then it'll go back to normal. Uh, but basically we're gonna slide this uh, side of a mirror into here line it up push it through once you push it through when that locking clip engages then you don't have to worry about holding the mirror see that that guy right there yeah once he goes in then he'll hold the mirror and then you could take your hands and go get the screws lined up and <clears throat> do that stuff so it's just these three and then we got our seal right here so i went ahead and tightened the the three bolts and then the seal, you just take these little plastic pin rivets and uh, put them on right there. You don't want your seal to look hanging off and stuff. That's not cool. And put the other one on. Now your wire harness. Uh, let's run it through and then connect it to the connector. All right. And the door panel does have to be off to be able to disconnect that, unfortunately. The white one is your lock. You could tell because the cable just goes up and down. This green one is a lever. It actually pulls out and stuff. So we'll go ahead and put the door panel close and then get these into place. White one goes on top. That's for your lock. And then your green one goes in. All you do is you put the ball in this little spot. You know, the cable goes into the little path. And then you just push this to, to lock it in place. Um, it's not too bad. On a lot of cars that... that that procedure is really hard, but Toyota makes it easy. So then you're going to put the lip of the door panel over onto the door first and then push it in. All the clips will kind of start to click into place. Make sure your harness right here is uh, free so you could connect your your uh, master switch. Get all the 
get all the holes lined up for the white clips. We'll push this in. It should it should be looking more like a door now. And then uh, what I do is I'll, I'll put these screws in first to kind of secure this. Put that screw in and then put your bottom one in here. Make sure they're lined up correctly. All right. And then it should feel pretty firm and tight. It shouldn't be loose at all. I'll close this cover right here. <clears throat> all right. And then we'll put this, this cover back on. With this, you got to be real patient and gentle. Make sure every tab is, is perfectly lined up. And then you're just going to gently kind of push it in place. You don't want to just like try to hammer fist this thing on because it will break. And then you're going to be looking for this part. All right, so get that in place, and then I could hook up our master switch. Um, a lot of people have trouble hit putting this connector back in. Push the first part in first, and then the sleeve you push in second. Don't try to put it all in at once. It won't work. So push it in, and then once it's in, then you push the outer white part that locks it in place. And then uh, make sure this is facing this direction. Dip the nose in first. Be gentle dip that in first and then lower the back onto that little clip that'll lock it in place and then we can put the uh, armrest pad on I don't think anybody actually rests their arm on these but you know this just goes on here's the part number if you need it and uh, just push push this line these up push it on okay that's good and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So now you want to uh, test your mirror out. Actually, no. Here's the speaker. Hook the speaker back up. This goes on like that. And uh, I apologize for not uh, showing how to disconnect and remove this speaker panel. But you just basically pull it off, pop it off, and then disconnect the speaker from the connector. So we'll get this back in place. And then, um, you know, turn your car on or your accessories on. Hit it. Hit the mirror to the left. And just make sure this works okay it's looking like it's working fine make sure your windows all work fine you know um you know everything's good and then make sure your locks close the door and then check your locks make sure everything goes good and that's it guys so hopefully this video helped you out replace your uh side view mirror and uh thanks for watching i'll see you next video Hey, what's up guys? I want to tell you about this new soap I've been using by a new company called Quantum Soap. It's a men's soap company. They make multiple different bars of soap with their own ingredients and fragrance. They even have a dark matter bar, which is more grittier. If you're a mechanic, you have a lot of dirt and oil in your skin a lot. You can reach them at quantumsoapco.com. Free shipping on orders over $50. These soaps are made in the US with all natural ingredients by hand. No synthetic this, synthetic that. Um, they've been great. They've hooked us up with a Guillermo Auto promo code. So if you head over to the website, type in Guillermo Auto in the checkout, you'll get 10% off. Again, uh, these guys are on Facebook, Instagram. Check them out. Check the links below. Thanks for watching.